previously on Our Curious Georgia. And how much do these different locations cost us to live? Is Vietnam cheaper or is Bali cheaper to live? Because we're not residents of these countries, so we have to pay to be there. The total cost living in Vietnam per month, so many of us bring our Western habits from home. Do we have local bank accounts set up in these countries? Hi, baby. I'm the new guy. I'm the new guy. I'm Gecko. I'm Gecko. Hi, Gecko. I'm the new guy. Nice to meet you, Gecko. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Oh, you must be really cold. Is that why you're blue? Where are you from, Soka? I'm from Africa. Africa. Wow, you're so lucky. You, you see that airplane, Daddy? You see an airplane, really? Right there. You, how do you spot those? I don't see it, Georgia. I hear it. Is it a big one or a little one? It's one. Where's it going? To Canada. Where's the big one going? To Cambodia. Oh, okay. Which one do you want to be on? Um, a helicopter. Yeah, me too. I've never been on one. Make the polar bear talk to this gecko. What's your name? Um. My name's Randy. Where uh, are you from? Um, Vietnam. Vietnam. Oh, Sin Chow there. How's the pho down there? Hey, you, you, you enjoying the pho? Do you, do you eating the mee wongs? How about the bun bao Hawaii? You like the bun baos? Yeah. Yeah? Daddy's having too much fun. Hey, Dad, what are you doing up there? Put that dang camera away, okay? <laughs> the karate bear city. It, no, Daddy's silly. Daddy's needs some sleep. <laughs> um, what about the mee wong teddy bear? What about the mee wong? I never heard of that mee chuang stuff. No, I didn't not poor guy wanna see gonna. Are you speaking the Vietnamese to me? <laughs> Are you speaking Vietnamese? I don't know what that means. <laughs> You're speaking that English to me, okay? I don't know what that's... <laughs> you quit hanging that Vietnamese talk to me and you speak English, you. <laughs> I thought I would mention to anyone coming to Bali, there is this cold brew coffee they have here, which let's see, Georgia, it's a Bali cold brew coffee. And down here it says no sugar, all natural, no preservatives, double filtered, bootstrap. Yeah, it's good. For anyone that wants to try a, a cold brew coffee for a change, just throw it on some ice. It's 60% no. less acidity, no. which is a good thing, because yes. coffee can be quite acidic. Really? Are you happy? Did you have some? Yeah. Did you have the coffee? I think you had the coffee, not Dad. Okay, Peach, do we have everything? Can you help Daddy find your hat? Oh, I see it. Haha. -ha. Good. Okay, money, card, teeth are brushed. I think we're good. I think we're all set. Is that your little house? Yeah. You love it in there? And this is my little ceiling. That's your little ceiling? Did you check for geckos in the back? Any geckos? Yes. Yeah. What about spiders in the, no spiders in the ceiling? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. We're set. You say goodbye to the Ganesh? Bye. Bye Ganesh. Bye Ganesh. You see a lot of people this morning in like traditional wear because there's another ceremony. I don't know the name of it. There's a ceremony every day, but. I'm gonna go to Arat Coffee here first. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. See you guys. So now we're just on a sneaky path on the way to Bintang. These are kind of like all the roads or all the paths that you find here in Ubud. And Daddy's a little bit out of breath because we're on a good incline. You wanna find some spiders? Which one, mommy or baby? Mommy. What do you think it's gonna eat? A, a flower. You think it's gonna eat the flower? Yeah. Yeah?
So I'm taking you guys to Bintang to show you, what am I showing you? I don't know, just the playland. Just show you guys the playland. We take her sometimes, just a bit of change of pace. Okay, so when you come in the Bintang, you enter, turn left up these stairs and go all the way to the top. And that's where the playland is. <gasps> where are we? <laughs> are we here? Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring socks today. That's a bonehead daddy move. But they always give socks. But you just bring your own if you don't want to use these. And they and they she gets to keep them. And it's twenty-five thousand to enter. So like less than two dollars. There you go, twenty-five? Okay. Yeah. Something for parents to do for a morning or while they go shopping. And then up here is like an art gallery or market. All this, like a big warehouse. It's cool, it's cool stuff. No fear, eh? So we're just on the, we're on the walking street back to our place, the last final stretch. We got groceries, two bags. I had to take a taxi, which you can grab from Bintang. It's like 50,000 to Alchemy. It's a little bit after 12, so we left the house at 9.30. Kills two and a half hours in the morning. Hi guys. And mommy, who's gonna be home? Mom. Mommy. Hello. But everyone's so friendly. Everyone's full of smiles. We love it. Hi, I saw I just saw you <laughs> and I started running. The behind? Because I was like, he's gonna love my help right now. Yeah, I thought I thought we would catch up to mom here coming at us because the house is this way, but you're still at Alchemy? Yeah, I I always would wait till noon in case you come. But it's past, it's like quarter past. Maybe ten past? Oh. You want me to take you, you out? out? Okay, we'll switch. Specialty steamed veggies. Here, this one's not hot. Is there lime on them all, Jess? No, I didn't put lime on she there. She likes lime. Squeeze it all over. Is it good? There. Squeezy said, What's that? What's that? And Squeezy said, It's for you. Ooh, does he have a special magic potion? Yeah. What does it do? Does it make the snake really big? Yeah. What are we checking out, Mom? The Pond Pondok Library. Pondok Library. Apparently, it's like one of the only ones here with loads of books. Little puppy. Oh, I hear you. He's barking. Yeah. I hear you. Atlas. That's a cool name. Atlas? Oh cool, you can just check out books, I think. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no more dirty jumping on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she picked out this book. By coincidence. Kim's and Giant Peach? <laughs> yeah. You kid this book. You kid this book. You kid this book, Daddy. You kid this book. You kid this big book. You kid this. You kid this cute book. You kid this book. Wow. There's Mogi, there's Bayou, and there's Bagheera. Don't let go, little guy. 
Don't let go, you two guys. <gasps> oh, hey, what's this guy? A beaver. And what's he driving? A train. Driving a train? He's cold. He's a, yeah, he's cold. He has a lot of he has a big sweater and a hat on, doesn't he? There are so many What do you think, Mom? Would you recommend that place? Totally. George loved it. Yeah? Yeah! I loved it! I loved it! <laughs> So this is the best falafel that Jazz has ever had. Falafel or um, if you ever hear in Bali Ubud, here in the market area, look for this place. You like those? You want to go back to the beach? You can pet it. Cute, eh? Don't So we're back round two, Seeds of Life. Banana cake, look at their dessert change. They got a carrot cake. Passion fruit cheesecake. That was a delicious meal. Hey mom? Yeah. Seeds of Life? I don't even know if it's recording. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. So we're heading home now. Dad's on a raw, raw vegan diet this week. So Dad's really yeah. hungry. Yeah. Extra hungry. Yeah. And we need to find all the raw restaurants, no? What do you have all over your lips? <laughs> <laughs> donut? We had to get our donut. It was supposed to be for Dad, but somebody snuck it. And we'll find a taxi and go home. Here's the raw carrot cake. This is really, really good. That, even that icing, because that's what carrot cake's known for, that icing. This is Bali's version of sugarcane juice. It's like kind of a slushy. It's good though. It tastes like sugarcane. Not bad, it's pretty good. Yeah. Jordy, what do you see? No, no, Daddy. Jordy, what do you see? What is that? Is that poop? No. Did you think that was poop? Should we let it outside? Is it under the bed? Where did he go? Maybe if you call it, it will come. Call it. Let's see. Fuck! I see him There he is, Georgie. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. He's in the clothes. Are they no good? He's scared. He's a lot. Say bye-bye, Frog. Good night. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, so this is the questions this week. And uh, no, 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 that one. Don't, don't read it. Don't okay, read it. I didn't read it. That's the second question. I wanted to be spontaneous for Jazz. Okay, so I made sure that we, we did our hair for this one. Okay, because this is a really important question. This is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite questions. Mine too. Okay, so Crystal Udas uh, uh, asks, I have a question for Jazz. Georgia has beautiful curls, and I am assuming they come from you. Right. Your dad doesn't have curly hair, right? You have pretty curly pretty, hair. Pretty curly hair, yeah. actually. But when I was like a bit of Georgia's age, my hair was exactly like Georgia's. Yeah. So Everyone next to her, her fuzz head when she was little. <laughs> so she asks, how do you care for your curly hair while traveling? 
especially in hot, humid places. I'm a pretty curly girl myself, and my hair would be a frizzy mess. LOL. You look beautiful and healthy. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. If her family needs to hear this, okay? <laughs> okay, first of all, I love you. <laughs> it, you know why? Because we're laughing at this question because everybody makes fun of my hair. Not everybody, like, not, like, not everybody. Like people we don't but, like, know, Sean even makes fun of my hair, my family, because it's literally nice looked exactly way. like this for, like, seven years, I think. They said, uh, even your sister said that Jazz has had a top bun for three years straight. I don't know the last <laughs> yeah. time I saw it down. My sisters begged me to cut my hair. They're, I'm like, I can't, it's getting so long. They're like, you in a ponytail every day. <laughs> so I especially like this question because I've never had a compliment on my hair in my <laughs> life and I think my hair is hideous. But you know what? Like from it looks like your picture, when you say you have curls, you have like nice, beautiful, like Thick. ringlet curls. Mm -hmm. And so I know that would be harder to control, but my hair is more like, it's pretty curly but it's not like, it doesn't get really frizzy. No. Like how like one of my girlfriends has really curly hair and like she deals with frizz so much, but long story short, I can just go on about my hair all day now <laughs> and he's gonna never hear the end of this about my beautiful hair. But to be honest, I do nothing with my hair and Throw I it up. very rarely brush it. Matching I do, I do wash it though. It probably doesn't look very washed, but I wash it. I think we counted honestly the, the month in Thailand it was like, I think we washed like once a week from pool, ocean, we just didn't wash it. Because we just it like go from the to. pool to the ocean straight to the shower. And you know and when the ocean gives it. you that cool beachy hair, you yeah, know, yeah. you love it. Yeah. I always say I'm not even a girl, like when it comes to hair, I don't even have own like one product for my hair. I don't even own hairspray, gel. Like I, if George has curly hair when she's older and needs to deal with it, I'll probably send you a message on how she should <laughs> deal with it because I am the last person who knows about that. The next one is right here. Brooke100 asks, hey, is Georgia potty trained? Just wondering what that is like being a traveling family or if you have put it off because potties are scarce or annoying to travel with. No, because, and this was super easy because we didn't really, we weren't really traveling. So like when we got to Vietnam, when she was about 11 months old. I don't even know what prompted us to buy a potty. We met a family that had a year, uh, just over a year old boy, and he was fully potty trained. Right. So we're like, whoa, like how did you yeah. do that? So we're like, it was like motivated us to do the same. And we bought a potty, a little potty right there. We just decided to buy one and literally just keep it there. And like, we put her on it a couple times, so nonchalantly. And then honestly, she was over it and then it went under our bed for like four months and then we decided to pull it out again because she actually started telling us when she had to pee. Yeah. So she'd have been like, I don't know, Around a year, months. a year and a half, she was like pretty trained, like 85% trained, just obviously still accidents at night and sometimes during the day. Actually, but her accidents weren't even at night. We it didn't, she, the, it was just during the day, like she didn't pee at night and she hasn't for a really long time. To answer the question about traveling, the bulk of her potty training was done while we were living in Vietnam, so yeah. we weren't full-time traveling. I, I think if, like even if we were full-time traveling, if we were going to commit to potty training, I'd be like, we need to be in some stay, place for like a few months. Yeah, stay somewhere yeah. and do it for sure. Yeah. So good. I hope that answers the questions. And uh, yeah, we'll go I let just our have hair to down go after this. Condition my hair. <laughs> I just have to go so long quick. Should we let our hair down right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> just a frizz? <laughs> no. Okay. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.